Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Red Rising. Today we're going to be playing as the House of Mars. Uh, and our starting cards are going to be Dancer, Calliope, Diplomat, Administrator, and Invictus. Um, we've set up the board as usual. We have the even card. We're going to be green and the Automat purple. Um, and we can... I think that's everything we're set up we can go on then to the first turn for the, and we give that to the automa so they deploy to luna take from the institute um and they get one in influence there uh and then they deploy to the institute take from a um and they get a helium for that sovereign token um and then it's over to us. And I think here I will deploy Invictus to Mars, uh, which advances us once. And I'll pick up the Auctioneer from the Institute, which gives us one. Um, and we go on then to the Automa. So they deploy to A and pick up from A and banish a card. And then they deploy to Luna and pick up from A, which gets them the Sovereign token, which they already have, and the Helium. And then it's back to us. And I think here I'll deploy the Auctioneer to the Institute. Um, so this is one of the, the variants for the solo. So we get to roll the Rising Die until we roll a bonus that Automa can get. Uh, so we'll roll the Institute, so they, they can get that bonus, so we'll place that, and we um, we gain both other options, so we gain one Helium and advance once on the Fleet Track, and once on the Fleet Track, and then I will pick up from Mars, which gets us the Helium, and we go on to the Automa, which deploys to Mars picks up from A and gets the Sovereign token which they have, so they get that, a uh, Helium. Uh, deploy to A, pick up from C, and advance on the Fleet Track. And then it's back over to us. And I think here I will deploy uh, the Administrator, um, which will I'll deploy it on the Institute reveal the top two cards and place them under this card in any order so we get janitor and helga um and i think i'll place them like that and then i'm going to gain colonel valentin which gets us the sovereign token and uh, a helium for that uh, the automa then deploys to b takes from luna and gets the sovereign token back and the helium uh, deploys to sea, takes from Mars, and back is the helium, and it's back to us. And I think here I will deploy Colonel Valentin and move, uh, so we can move a goal from any location to under this card. Uh, we can gain that card, so I think I will gain Carnus, and that ends our turn. And then we go. Deploy to Jupiter, take from A, but they don't have anything on A, so they take from B, uh, which gets them another influence, and deploy to A, uh, there, take from Mars, and it comes back over to us, and I think I'll uh, deploy the Diplomat, to the Institute, uh, which means we both get to place an influence there. Um, and I'm going to pick up from Jupiter, which advances us on the fleet track. Uh, I mean, the Autumn's turn. Deploys to D, picks up from C. And then deploys to B, and picks up from Jupiter, which advances them on the fleet track. And it's back over to us. 
And I think here I'm going to deploy Karnas. Uh, so we can banish the card under this one. If the banished card is Mustang, the Jackal. The, so uh, we'll banish the Jackal. We get to choose an opponent uh, and banish one of their cards. So we're obviously going to choose the Automa. We banish their bottom card. Uh, and then I think I will... I think I will pick up from Jupiter, which advances us on the fleet track, and the Automa goes, deploys to B, uh, picks up from B, and gets an Institute, or an influence on the Institute, uh, and then they deploy to A, and pick up from Guna, and banish a card, and it comes back over to us. And here I think I'm going to deploy Calliope. So reveal the top card of the deck, then deploy it face up on another location. So we get the Telemances. So move all cards under this card from this location to the top of another location in the same order. Um, and I think I will... Hmm. I will deploy it here. So we can move all of these. And I'm going to move them onto Jupiter in that order and then I will pick up from Mars I'll pick up Quietus from Mars which gets us a helium uh, and we go on to the Automa so they deploy to Mars pick up from D gets them a helium and deploy to Jupiter pick up from B which there isn't one, so they pick up Calliope. Uh, that gets them another helium. So they are now at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven helium. Ooh, okay. So it's over to us. And I think here I'm going to deploy Dancer. So that gains us one. Uh, I think I will deploy it there. Gains us one helium. Uh, and I'll pick up from Jupiter advances us to number five and the automa goes they deploy to a pick up from jupiter and deploy to c uh, pick up from d and the automa deck gets shuffled two three four and it comes back over to us and I think here I will deploy the sponsor to uh, Mars I'll pay one helium to place two influence on the Institute uh, and I'll pick up from Luna which gets me the sovereign token and the helium uh, and the Automa goes they deploy to a pick up from Luna and banish a card uh, and then they deploy to B pick up from Jupiter and move one on the fleet track and it's back over to us and here I think I will deploy Quietus to the Institute which advances us on the fleet track I'll pick up from Mars this is a helium and we go on to they deploy on the institute uh, pick up from A and get the sovereign token and a helium and deploy on Mars pick up from D which is Mars which gets them another helium uh, and it's back over to us and sorry, I just realized whenever they, on their turn before last, whenever they took from A and gained the Sovereign token, I could have prevented it with the Justice here, um, which I think I will. So I'll banish this card uh, to keep the token and then gain the top card of the deck, um, which is Priestess. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, and yeah, then we'll go on to our turn.
Uh, I think here I will deploy Priestess to Mars. I do have the Sovereign token, so we'll advance to Space 7. Uh, and I'll pick up from the Institute, which gets me an influence there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and we go on then. They deploy to A. Pick up from Jupiter. Uh, deploy to A. Pick up from A. And banish a card. And then it comes back over to us. And I think what I I think I can end the game here. Um, so I think I might actually do that. Um, so I think I'm going to deploy uh, the sponsor. Uh, pay one helium. To place two influence. Which gets us to seven. And we're at seven on the fleet track. Um, and then I'm going to pick up from Luna. I'll pick up Ugly Dan. Which gains us... Uh, the sovereign token where we have that so we'll gain a helium uh, so I think that's all because they took the first turn so we can go on then to final scoring um, so we're looking for uh, even cards are matching for this so Um, and we count to 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops. Sorry, that's a mistake. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we cut down to 20 so two three four five uh, and we go one two three four five six seven so seven um, non-matching and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen matching um, so the score chart So that leaves them with a base score of 70 uh, and they get 99 uh, for their cards. They have for their position, they get three on the fleet track. We get 28. Um, then for, they get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they get 27. For helium, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, so we get 18. Um, we have the token, sovereign token, they don't. They have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we get 28 and they get 10. 28, 10. Uh, we do not have more than seven cards, so their total is. Hmm, 209 so they have 209 which we have to beat so uh, let's see if we can do that so we get for our cards um, do we have any end game abilities we do we have two so we have uh, we can treat this card as having the same name as any specific character and I think I will treat this as having the name Severo, um, which is relevant for Fitchner here. Uh, and then we can treat this uh, this card as if it is any one other color in addition to gray. And I think I will treat this as a red for also for Fitchner. Uh, so Fitchner is fully, uh, we get all of his points. So 19 plus if 16 if we are the most advanced on the fleet track, uh, which we are. Uh, so 19 plus 16 for Invictus. The Judge, we get 10 points plus 3 for each of our cards. We have 5, so we get 15. Uh, we get 25 for Fitchner, plus 10 because he's with the red, plus 10 because he's with several. Uh, we get 20 for Ugly Dan, 
uh, and five for each red and brown on all locations. Um, so we have uh, that is copper. Okay. So we have one brown there, copper and brown. Uh, and that is all. So we have two. So we have 10. And then we have 15 plus 10 because it's with a gold for uh, plus 10 plus another 10 because we don't have any obsidians. And that gives us 170. 170. Um, which leaves our total at 254. So we, we end up winning this one. Um, yeah, that, uh, that worked out quite well in the end. Um, we were lucky, lucky to get Ugly Dan into our hand um, to, be able, to be able to get his uh, color so we can use it as a red. Um, and yeah, um, let me know in the, in the comments if you have any thoughts on this. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining. I'll call it a day here. Um, hope you can join again next time.